After things quieted down a bit, the Martian looked for a class to join. Seeing a lab being done in the chemistry room, the little guy slipped in unnoticed. He made himself at home with the chemicals. He was especially interested in a certain canister that read sodium metal. He pried the can open, but when it opened, it slipped out of his hands and into the sink, <laughs> causing a 12 kiloton explosion. Scraping himself from the debris, Mr. Vandegrift wrote the little Martian a detention referral. <laughs> Mr. Vandegrift asked the Martian what his name was. The Martian said that he hadn't any. Mr. Vandegrift said that it really didn't matter because Mr. Scotton would find him anyway. <laughs> After class, the Martian accidentally walked into the math office and found Mr. Mellencamp working diligently. But Mr. Mellencamp took time out of his busy schedule to tell the Martian a few puns. And then Mr. Mellencamp laughed. <laughs> the Martian reacted in the only sensible manner. He ran for his life. Soon getting hungry, the Martian decided to take a trip to the cafeteria. He saw that mystery meat was on the schedule. So he reached into his pocket and pulled out a snack. He pulled out a Mars bar. Thank you. Well, the Martian was learning, but immediately after lunch, to his dismay, his interstellar beeper went off. The truth of the matter was, he had a little detention to serve at home. So the Martians skipped the last three periods, like many Greenwood High School students. <laughs> Got back in his ship and headed off to his home in the sky. Well, that's the end of our story for this year. You're right, Sarah. And you know, when I come to think about it, I see those same leadership qualities in my senior class this year. I I'm serious. You're right, there is a lot of potential. We're gonna be big time, just you wait and see. Well, I know a group of seniors who think they've hit the big time already. Here they are, portraying rock and roll in America. Rock and roll in the United States was first generated and started by a 21-year-old truck driver from Tupelo, Mississippi, Elvis Air Presley. The Thank you. 